Howdy humans. So I'm back in the shop again after a few days away from home for a work trip. Um, I'm enjoying what is a nice warm day here in Martinez and spending some of it in the shop. So uh, we've got a problem. Uh, when I initially designed how I was going to build this guitar, I wanted to make the front all wood, no pickguard, uh, no control cavity cut through the front, which leaves us a control cavity cut through the back. I made a nice cutout for my control electronics and such, and had planned on using some of the off-cut poplar to make a cover for it. But as you can see, when I hold up this piece of off-cut, we've got a problem. That's not gonna work. The grain lines are 90 degrees from each other. So I talked to some folks on the internet, <coughs> Ben, ben Crow, um, and uh, they recommended, well, Ben recommended, using a different piece of wood altogether. So I went digging around and in my shop, I found uh, a big old slab of what I think is maybe walnut. And I'm gonna cut a chunk of that and try to turn it into a control cavity cover. And we'll see how that goes. special day in the Divergent Guitars Workshop. It is new power tool day. I bought this a few weeks ago but haven't taken it out of hadn't taken it out of the box yet and now it's time to uh, take this puppy on its maiden voyage. Okay, so I've got this roughly fitted up. Gonna do a little more cleanup sanding, but uh, yeah, slides in, nice little tight fit. Uh, I'm gonna have to sand it a little bit more to make it a little thinner. Got about a eighth inch ridge here, so uh, taking it slowly and working it down into the right shape, but we're getting there. got this uh, cavity cover um, made of red oak, as it turns out, not walnut. Um, cut to size and shape and roughly fit. Uh, I need to make it a little thinner so that it matches the recess, but it's uh, getting there, so check this out. And uh, it's a pretty tidy fit. Got to do some routing to get this edge cleaned up to match the shape of the guitar, but it's uh, getting there.
So here's our result after uh, a bit of sanding and uh, fitting in this control cover, control cavity cover. Need to route it uh, along the edge there, but that'll happen along with all the other routing that needs to happen. Hi there, back in the shop. Um, last time I was out here, I uh, finished fitting up this cavity cover and got it all nicely uh, integrated into the body. It needs a little more sanding. Uh, first thing today, I'm going to hog out these two pickup cavities and then put the, the template back on to route them out to their final shape and size. Uh, additionally, hopefully, if I have time, I'm gonna take one of my beautiful new Freud router bits and round over the top and back, um, the front and back edges of this body to make it uh, nice and smooth. And after that, uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of shaping uh, to make this a little bit more comfortable to, to play than uh, your average Telecaster, which tends to be a bit boxy. So I'm gonna try to make this a little bit more ergonomic than a uh, standard Tele design from the 50s and 60s. So there we are. So I'm back in the shop again, uh, you know, trying to get back to it despite having to work during the day, like I guess most of us on things that aren't guitar building. Uh, so next part up, I'm gonna work on routing the neck pocket, which is arguably the scariest part of doing uh, power tool work on, on a guitar blank. Um, so last time I kind of made my own sort of bullshit version of a, a neck pocket template out of a best guess uh, with a fit up to the neck. And this time I had a better idea, which was to trace uh, my Stumac Mighty Might Tele neck with a scalpel. And I should have a pretty close fit to that. So I'm gonna do a rough cut with a bandsaw first and then uh, run it over on the sander here and uh, see if I can get it a nice tight fit for my MDF template so I can make a really solid neck joint. Let's see how that turns out.
that weren't quite within the bounds of the uh, neck pocket template. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of precision scalpel work here. that a nice little neck pocket. Only done two, but this is clearly my best one so far. Let's see if the Mighty Might neck fits into it without any sanding or fiddling. Okay, so we've got a neck pocket. It's, um, you know, pretty good fit, I think. But uh, I guess this is the moment of truth. Let's see if this works. Well, it's not a perfect set neck, but it's uh, certainly good enough for a bolt on. Yeah, that'll do.